I know a lot of hospitals are canceling elective surgeries just because of the influx of COVID patients. That is correct. Um, we've been canceling elective surgeries, I want to say, since like a good two weeks ago. I currently work in a so-called COVID ICU. Um, where we are taking care only uh, of those patients that are COVID positive. And of course, this happens because of the overwhelming number of cases that we have over here in New Jersey and in the city where I work. Um, so, you know, it, it's a challenging uh, moment for all of us. Um, those are not easy patients, especially when they have comorbidities and they're older. Do you get worried going into work every day? I've been working with these patients like a good two weeks, which is, um, I, I mean, and again, we're speaking of an intensive care unit, so most patients are ventilated, you know, like, you know, we, you have that type of um, uh, aerosol exposure at times, which is like the critical one that re really requires it to wear an N95 all the time. Um, so, so in that sense, you know, like uh, the virus would have had the, like plenty of time to be, you know, for the incubation, developing, you know, of symptoms and uh, it just didn't happen with me. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess I feel lucky in that sense. So it sounds like you guys are properly equipped with PPE. I'm fairly proud of the residence program where we I'm working at because they have been protecting us residents by, you know, providing appropriate PPE and, uh, and also, to be honest, rearranging the coverage so that um, we would essentially minimize the exposure to uh, to the healthcare providers because wow. ultimately, you know, um, you know, there have been very, quite a few doctors that have been uh, sick uh, among us, and um, and you know, when uh, if the healthcare system is overwhelmed, you know, for sure they're asking our help as, as residents and uh, we really don't want to be sick at home uh, or quarantine, you know, which is essentially the same. There's been talks about trying to get any of the healthcare students to graduate faster so they can come and help. What do you feel about that? It's a difficult move, a difficult decision, and it's an extreme one. Number one, you don't want to expose unnecessary you know, new people to, to this environment. Number two, uh, like accelerating the process of graduation might also mean decreasing the quality of care for the patient. How do you think the next two, three weeks, month looks? So we had some predictions coming from a rather famous um, university program uh, in the United States and uh, they mentioned that the peak in New Jersey should be around um, halfway through April. So we are probably reaching it still. Um, I do personally think that you know there is uh, still a window to get worse. Um, so and, and in fact, there have been still, you know, recently moves um, again from our hospital um, in order to open new units uh, to dedicate to the care of these patients, um, just as the one I'm working at. And what about the second wave that everyone keeps talking about, like in the fall again? I think that if there is, if there's gonna be a second wave, which is very likely, uh, it's going to be much less intense just because uh, many, the vast majorities of the people that can develop immunity will have developed immunity by then. Do you have anything that you want the public to know that you have any feelings on or experiences with that maybe no one is aware of? I you know I think we're all at the point now where we understand the importance of staying home, but is there anything else? I invite uh, to minimize the exposure to media and, uh, you know, uh, resources that are not uh, strictly scientific. Um, I do think that there is a lot of uh, panic uh, in this whole situation that um, should not be there. Uh, there should be a, a mindful awareness and uh, people shouldn't 
be cold enough to be able to look at the data and understand the scientific communication from the scientific community. What did you say the two sites are that people should be paying attention to? Right, so that's gonna be the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, and the WHO, the World Health Organization. Perfect, okay. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. We really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. Anytime. Be safe.